Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah Khan here. And today uh, we start uh, a new topic, uh, codes. Alright. I believe I forgot to mention it in the... Uh, in the what? In the contents video, the very first video that I uploaded on the contents. Uh, I, 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 I forgot the name codes all right this is not a boss topic we have we have a few codes to cover very basic codes uh, in this video we are done with the number systems and today we have a new topic now what is a code actually now when uh, code is code is what it is just a symbolic representation it is a symbolic representation of anything when we when we uh, write numbers or alphabets or letters or anything in terms of any particular symbols, any specific symbols, we say that this number or this letter or this alphabet it has been encoded, has been encoded, and 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 that's why and that encoded and that and that uh, symbol is called a what? That's called a code. Okay, so code I could say it is a group of symbols. I could say this code code is what? It is a group. of symbols all right and and what could, and what these symbols could be they can be anything to represent anything all right now we have certain categories of these codes we have different types of codes all right uh, and we'll be discussing most of them so let me list list the names down we have weighted codes we have unweighted codes we have a uh, uh, wide sequential codes we have reflected codes uh, we have alphanumeric and the sixth major type is uh, error detecting error detecting now these are the basic definition can be cleared out by the names you know what is a weighted code each each uh, I don't need to write it down I believe weighted code each uh, what each digit has its particular weight as we saw in the binary system that we had the decimal system those are weighted systems here we discuss weighted codes all right so some of the codes uh, we will be discussing from these examples. We a weighted code, or maybe the example is 8421, you can say. 8421 code is a weighted code. 2421 is a weighted code, all right? Etc, etc. Unweighted code, you know the basic meaning. What is unweighted? Each and every uh, digit does not have a particular weight associated to it. The example, uh, let's say, is the access 3 code. For example, we have the axis 3 code, we have the gray code, etc. All right. Sequential code. Sequential from the name, it's clear that it's going to follow a particular sequence. And what is that particular sequence? That each next digit is one, each next number or each next digit is one greater than the preceding one. All right. So that is a particular digit. For example, here we would be uh, the example could be again 8421 falls in this category and the access 3 also falls here. 8421 and the access 3 also falls in this category, etc. Alright, reflected code. Reflected or this is also called as uh, self-complementing code. Reflected or self complementing code now now what is this code so, so we'll see that the first uh, number is the complement of the last the second is the complement of the second last the third is the complement of the third last and it will follow a particular sequence so that is what is called a, a, a reflected code the example for this is what is let's say the 2421 and x is 3 code again so 2421 and the XS3 code. 
follow in this category, okay? Etc. Alphanumeric code, what is this alphanumeric? This is a code uh, by which we represent numbers, alphabets, or even small instructions, all right? Now we represent alphabets, alpha from alphabets, numeric from numbers, and maybe small instructions as well. The example for this is the ASCII code. And you probably know what is ASCII, or if you don't know, so we'll see, okay? This stands for the American Standard, uh, C, I don't know, and interchange, whatever. Information interchange. ASCII, I've forgotten the proper abbreviation, but this is the code that uh, that uh, the, is assigned to the keyboard letters and uh, in the computer, etc. Right? Error detecting code. Uh, now, we, when we are we transmitting data from one system to another, so error, so noise gets into the system. Noise gets into the signal that is being transmitted. Now, what is this noise? This noise is the unwanted signal. When it is received, then it has the unwanted signal, which we do not need there at the receiving end. So to check that out and to remove that out. We need this error detecting codes, all right? We need this error detecting codes, and the example for this uh, could be the Hamming code. Hamming code, all right? That is example for error detecting codes. Okay, so the first part of this lecture was about uh, introduction to the codes, you can say. Now we start the, the code, studying the codes, okay? So the first code that we discuss is the BCD. BCD, which stands for Binary Coded Decimal. All right? In short, called as the BCD. Okay. Now what is the BCD? So here we do what? In this code, each decimal digit, each decimal digit is represented is represented by a 4 bit binary number each decimal digit is represented by a 4 bit binary number all right so the important is a 4 bit and each decimal digit, all right? Now, decimal is what? We know that in case of decimal, we have base is 10, so which means well, we have numbers ranging from 0 to 9. So we represent 0 to 9 in terms of a binary digit, all right? A 4-bit, four, four, four okay? So 4-bit means what? We've, we've seen the binary conversions and the, the basics of binary and decimals. So 4-bit means that it will follow the sequence of an 8 the, the weight of 8, 4, 2, and 1. And how is that? So this is 2 to the power 0, this is 2 to the power 1, this is 2 to the power 2, and this is 2 to the power 3. All right, so this means we can represent up to 2 to the power 3 in 4 bits, all right? And how do we do that? So let's say we represent. Now now let's say we, 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 only, we only can represent from 0 to 9, okay? If we have, let's say, a one zero, so this is not a decimal digit, it's a decimal number. If we have a one zero three, it's again a decimal number, okay? So it's not a decimal digit. Decimal digits are only from zero to nine. So let's say I write it over here. We have the decimal, and we have its BCD. So from zero to nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, now the D, B, C, D would be what? So I've told you the method. Okay. Now this is the, the B, C, D equivalence for zero to nine decimal num this is decimal digits, okay? This is the BCD equivalent, all right? Now, now the question arises, the question arises that, uh, what? I forgot, yeah. 
a question arises that we are representing here with the four bits, all right? With the four bits. So the maximum that we can represent is a 2 to the power 4, which is equal to 16, okay? So which means we can represent from 0 to 15 with this. We can have 0 to 15 when we when we have 4 bits, all right? So why? Why is it 0 to 9 or what to do? What to do with greater than 9, okay? What to do with 10 to 15? For BCT equivalents of 10 to 15. So from 10 to 15, we have what? We have a don't care. We have a don't care. All right, we can convert, we can convert this 10 to 15 into a BCD equivalent, but we don't have, we don't have it in a 4-bit. The basics are from 0 to 9 in a 4-bit, all right? We see how to convert them later, and we see the don't cares, we will see them in the cardinal maps in a great detail. Till now, you just have to consider that if either it's a 0, it's a 1, we, it doesn't matter to us, all right? So if, if here I write a 10, so I can write here a cross, 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 cross. That is how we represent a, a what? I don't care. We represent it by a cross. And similarly for 11, similarly for 12, we have, we have these crosses. All right, for 12, we have these crosses till 15. We have these crosses. Which means this is a don't care. And what's this don't care? So I told you we'll be studying it in the in the cardinal maps in the upcoming lectures in very detail. Till now you need to understand it's a one, we don't care, it's a zero, it doesn't matter to us. This don't care mean doesn't matter to us, alright? Okay. So that's all about the introduction, just the introduction to binary code or decimal. What we said was that each binary digit that is from zero to nine can be represented by an equivalent four bit binary number okay and so that's all see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care goodbye